My husband and I decided to start trying for our second baby one month after our wedding. It was the first time I had consciously looked into and educated myself on how to fall pregnant. Look, I'm not gonna lie, it's the only content or reading material I consumed for a month. I guess it was the first time in my life I was truly invested in learning about ovulation, ovulation tracking, fertility windows, what the heck did DPO stand for? Like in this time, I learned so many acronyms. Although I had been pregnant three years earlier, our son Fox was a complete surprise as I had been told by our doctors that due to my hormonal imbalances and PCOS that falling pregnant naturally was highly unlikely. So with this being the last fertility related news I had been given, I tried not to get my hopes up too much and just be prepared that it may take us a while to conceive again. It's like 7 a.m. I've just woken up from the worst sleep ever. I don't think I'm pregnant. I have no symptoms. Um, I just don't feel pregnant, but my period's due in six days. So I thought I got the digital ones, the ones that say like pregnant, not pregnant, but unfortunately I just got the line ones. But like I said, I think I was trying to tell myself I had symptoms like five days ago. And like if I thought I was pregnant, I would be so nervous right now. But I just like, I just know I'm not, you know? You say I know I'm not pregnant, but like you just want it so bad. Even though I thought I wasn't going to be pregnant, you just want to be. But it's been over three minutes and I'm not pregnant. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out. Okay, I'm just hiding upstairs. The last clip you saw was this morning. It's now 7pm, so it's nearly 12 hours later. And I was like, whatever, like I told Kurt, I said the pregnancy test is negative. I don't know, I had this feeling that we were gonna get pregnant first time around, but like, obviously we'll just try next time. Anyway, I went out and bought new pregnancy tests thinking that, well, I still, I still might need them for a few months to come or whoever, who knows how long. Anyway, so it's the night time. I peed on another stick. It's only nine days post ovulation, 10 or nine. Anyway, I'll explain that in a different video. I don't know. Now I'm freaking out because I left it a lot longer than three minutes because I forgot about it because I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna pee on one because I bought like four more boxes of pregnancy tests. But it's like, can a line just appear if you leave it for too long? Okay, like see, let me zoom in a bit. See, that is the faintest. That is the faintest line. I don't know, like I don't want to get excited because... Oh no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh my gosh. But now that I see that, I'm like, my boobs are tingling and like I'm really, I am really bloated, but I mean, I just ate a bunch of cookie dough, like healthy cookie dough, but still like, I'm very, very bloated for me. I think it's just the dye. I think the dye has just run. See, it's like even run there a little bit. This is crazy, especially because I've just been having a full conversation with Kurt about like what his schedule is next month and is he going to be here on my fertile window because he's traveling so much. That means like some months we won't even get to try during my fertile window. So for all he knows, he's like, okay, she's 100% not pregnant this round, but I might not be. I'm probably not. I'm probably not. I'm going to tell myself I'm not. You say this, but like deep down, I'm like, maybe I'm pregnant. I don't know, I feel like the dyes just run. Okay, all right, we'll try tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Oh, what if the dyes just run? Nine days post ovulation, I'm pretty sure. That is a faint line. Look how puffy I am. I have had insomnia for the past four nights, which is so unlike me. So now I'm thinking, is this like a pregnancy symptom? Anyway, it's like 
8 in the morning. We also had Fox sleeping in our bed because he was sick. So tired, but I'm gonna take another one. Okay, I've just peed on it. I'm gonna turn it over and set a timer for three minutes. I decided I didn't want to test again until I'd missed my period. It was also good timing as we were traveling to Byron Bay with the White Fox team to shoot my new activewear campaign. I was distracted and my mind wasn't obsessing over the question, am I pregnant? some context, some backstory. Where do I even start? Where do I even start in the story? Okay, let's have this conversation in the lounge room. I need to be really, really quick, which I'll explain in a second why. So as you guys saw in those first clips of me taking pregnancy tests, this is our first month ever trying for our second baby. As you guys heard in when I was talking to my phone, I didn't feel pregnant, I didn't feel any symptoms, but I was like quietly optimistic. And I was like, yes, like I, I think we're gonna, gonna get pregnant, but I don't feel pregnant. So when I peed on the stick and it was a negative, I was a bit like, oh, that's okay. And then when I got that false positive, because I got the evaporation line, I was really excited and I thought, yes, I am pregnant. And then the next morning, when I tested again and it was negative, it kind of like made me realize, okay, by now, days post ovulation, I should be showing, like I should be showing a line. My body would have some HCG, so I'm obviously not pregnant. So I told all my friends, I told my family, yep, yeah, we tried this month and we didn't get pregnant. I don't know, I, I just, I think I've just been reading on Google way too much and a lot of people get a line like nine days post ovulation, 11 days post ovulation. And I think I'm like, 15 days post ovulation so just randomly because i brought two pregnancy tests with me to byron we just went up to byron to shoot my activewear campaign and i brought two with me just because and i thought oh i'm just gonna take them and get rid of them from my suitcase because it's just a reminder that i'm not pregnant this month and then this morning like that's a full online so now kurt has no idea i have been with him all day flying home to sydney picking up fox trying to act normal being like i've been talking for the last week that I'm not pregnant. And I, I think I'm pregnant. So we're gonna go and take two tests and I'm gonna tell him now, I have no plan. I have no plan. We're just gonna take two tests. I'm gonna take one that's like a cross, you know, that has like a line. I think that's this one. Oh my gosh, we have to be quick because he's just getting like takeaway. We're getting Mexican. Okay, I'm gonna take that little like cross one. Oh my gosh, if I'm actually pregnant, this is insane. And I feel like, I feel like I have such an underwhelming response because I had to be so quiet this morning because he was he was literally right next to the door in bed in the Airbnb we were staying at. This doesn't feel real. 
I like when I freak out, I just talk a lot. And then this one will say how many weeks, which honestly, the, the line was light this morning and I've been testing regularly. So I, literally implantation must've been like yesterday. Not really, but kind of. Okay, let's take it. And then I need to think of an idea of how to tell him. Okay, let's take these. Okay, I'm not gonna look at them until the three minutes is up. By the way, it is nearly 6 p.m. on the 25th of June. Because me testing has been so like up and down, like not pregnant, false pregnant, not pregnant, pregnant, then I'm like, no, surely not. What if I'm pregnant? I don't even know what to say. What if I am? Okay, let's just wait. If these are positive, if these are positive, then we'll, we have like four minutes to think of an idea of how to tell Kurt, because Kurt and Fox are up the road. My period was supposed to start today. So I know, I know this is technically still early to find out like the day of my missed period, but I've just been like deep into Google and like ovulation and conception. This one says find out six days before your missed period. And I did it like day six, five, four. And it always came back negative. So I literally have so many pregnancy tests because when I got the last negative, I was like, well, I'm gonna be trying for a while. So I bought an ovulation thing. Who knows, I may still need them. Okay, let me look. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No way, 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 no way. Oh my God, Fox is gonna be a brother. Fox is gonna be a big brother. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Jesus. Okay. 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 Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Mm -hmm. Exactly. 